what a beautiful day now. Look how smooth the water is, no wind. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be perfect. in the making. Oh man, this is, it's like night and day. This is like night and day. So I used to own a uh, Malibu X13, which is a great kayak, plastic kayak. But it was just an absolute tank on the water. It was difficult to get up to speed, it was, uh, it was difficult to paddle um, Heavy, chunky I mean it did me well for 10 years but I always wanted one of these And in the UAE there's no dealer so I had to get it shipped in And it took me months to get it to, for it to arrive because, because of Covid And, uh, and let's say the, uh, the customer service itself isn't fantastic so they're a bit slow to respond but it's here now and the uh, first impressions is uh, it's night and day in terms of paddling like it's absolutely effortless obviously there's a bit more rock and that's some, uh, something that I'm gonna have to get used to as uh, as I take it out more often but first impressions I love it I love the uh, the, the, um, the paddles for the uh, sorry the pedals for the rudder it feels natural I can just focus on rowing and then uh, and I use that for steering and direction. Um, obviously, there's a lot to get used to. I had like kind of my system and my setup in place with the X13. I'm gonna have to adjust and and readapt to this. But first impressions is, I can't believe I was. Uh, I used to go like 25, 30 kilometers in the other car. Can you imagine the absolute exhaustion and uh, and strain you put on your shoulders and your body? This is this is a completely different ball game, man. This is absolutely amazing, I love it. So yeah, first impressions are good speed. Let's see, it's a bit of a speed test. Man, it's just not out It's night and day. You can get up at the top speed in no time. The paddle's great, you can feel like the, uh, the way the paddle's been designed, it captures the water and it pushes it back so you get more thrust. Very, very efficient. Yeah, man, this is a, this is a different ball game. This is an absolutely different ball game. And the turn, as you can literally lean and turn. And lean and turn, whoa! <laughs> Almost lost it. But yeah, man. So, you think that a kayak that's five and a quarter meters long wouldn't be, uh, would be difficult to maneuver, but, you know, in terms man, it turns on a dime for its size. Woo, look at that. Yeah man, this is amazing. It's gonna be fun chasing the pelagics in this, that's for sure. It's gonna be wild man. Alright. Alright. Let me see if I can get you to see the sunrise. You get the sunrise in here. How's that? That's gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Alright, let's, uh, let's get after the fish. Let us get after the fish. Alright, so about one kilometer in, it still feels good, it still feels easy. You know, for the first pack session back. There's no strain on my shoulders, it's like I've been doing it all, you know, all throughout the summer. Um, it feels good man, the seat feels good, even though the clips are kind of in the wrong wrong place, it still feels alright. The, the seat feels good, I've got good support on my back, 
and uh, and yeah you can pick up pick up speed quite quick you know I'm going on an average pace of uh, eight minutes per kilometer um, when I was trying to go for speed I was about seven minutes per kilometer which is pretty good because in the other Tupperware that I had I'd be hitting on average 10 11 minutes per kilometer which was brutal because where I go is about nine and a half kilometers out in one direction. I have a bit of a stop off to pick up some bait fish. That adds maybe one or two more K on, to on top of that. And then I, to get to the final destination, um, I'm back. Usually it's about 25 to 30 kilometers, like a big, a big fishing day. So this is gonna be a different ball game. This is gonna obviously help me last a little bit longer and, uh, and not feel the pain and, uh, and, and you know worry about, about the paddle back. So. Here we go. I got one Rapala out. Let's see if we can uh, catch some kingfish. Oh, we're on. It's small, but we're on. Probably a yellow spotted Trevelli, which would be good. for bait if it's the right size let's see what we got first fish of the season we got a stinking barracuda all right this one's a catch and release as long as the bastard doesn't cut my line we're good all right where are we at so this is what i mean about figuring out the system right Opening this and uh, let's get this. There we go. First one. There we go. Yeah, this is what I mean. You know, I'm uh, first one in. All my stuff's all over the place. I don't have a place for my tools. Uh, it wasn't very good. It wasn't a very good catch and release, but. Hopefully we'll get a bit better. But yeah, first fish of the season. Not bad. Oh, we're on. Oh, I think it's another barracuda. A little bit bigger, maybe. Small one. Oh, that's a little bit of a tug. No, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. That can't be a king. That might be a king, you know. Oh, oh he's coming towards me now. He's coming in hot. Oh, it's another barracuda. It's another stinking barracuda. All right, let's see how. Time, hopefully a cleaner. A cleaner. Made a meal of that, I tell you what. It'll get it will get better, I promise. What is up, guys? Alright, I'm coming up to three kilometers. So, coming up to the halfway point, which is four and a half kilometers, we're gonna get some uh, bait fish. And I feel good, I feel absolutely fine, I feel strong, I don't feel any tension in my shoulders. And uh, at a good trolling speed, at a good speed overall. So right now, I'm seven minutes, 10 seconds per kilometer. That's a seven, 10 piece for runners. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that, I'll take it. I will take it. So, uh, yeah, man. two barracudas, not the fish I'm going for, but you know, gotta be grateful. Yes, 
see how it goes. Alright, let's see if we can let's see if we can get some bait fish. I mean I have just as much fun fishing for bait fish as I do for bigger fish on the light gear. Oh, first one! Oh, did I get him? Oh, I lost him! Oh man! I lost him. All right, it looks like they're here. Let's get this ready. So this is what I absolutely love about the kayak is that the uh, live bait well. Even though I had to like kind of uh, handmade these because stuff didn't send me any any plugs. Um, not having to worry about. A battery powered bait well and you know lugging one of those around is fantastic. This thing's gonna be perfect. Let's see if I can catch another one of these guys. How was it? Oh, Ooh, big hit! What was that? What have we got here? Well, that's not a bait fish. <laughs> There's something here. This is the problem when you get a big hit on light gear. Let's see what we got. Probably, I would say, a spotted trevally. Maybe a little bit too big. Oh, it's getting chased now. What is that? Oh, queenie. Queenie. Queenie! Alright, that's good. So if I don't get smashed by the queenies, we need those bait fish, but they must be chasing something here, so fingers crossed. This time we'll get onto some. Oh, he went for that. Oh, they're hungry today, man. They're hungry today. Let's see if we can get us some bait fish without the big ones taking the lure. What a beautiful day to be out though, man. What a beautiful day. Oh, this has got to be a big fish. Can we bring him in before the big ones take him? Oh, no, he's too big. He's too big. Under the boat, let's see if we can get him out. There we go. I might have to abandon this plan if this is the case and stick to Rapalas. Otherwise, I'm gonna be here all day trying to get a bait fish. All right, we lost him. That's good. These little tackle house lures are badass. Badass. They're expensive, but they're killers. That's three casts, three hits. They're expensive, but they get you the bait fish, which gets you the big fish. Big queen, hopefully these border guys will tangle up the line. Do my 
myself onto him. Dude, I am making a meal out of everything today, I'll tell you that. I'm making a meal out of everything today. First day back. Technique is off. Whoa. This man. This man. Oh, this man nuts are holding up. It's a positive. The thing is, I don't want to gaff him. I want to put him back. And every time. He's too big to hold the line because every time I hold the line it cuts through my finger. Let's see if I can tire him out. It's a big fish. Big fish. Big teeth. Big damage. Oh, stay away from my leg. Big, big fish, as you can see. Let's try and get him out with as least damage as possible. Today is not my day. Uh, we just lost the tool. Reviving a fish. Come on. He's good to go. Live to fight another day. And I lost my tool, which I've had for absolutely years. It's all my fault for not securing it. So I had to de-hook a fish with a fork, which I think is a first for me. Cut my hands up. Gave that barracuda a hard time. Alright, I think if it continues like this, we got problems. Barracudas keep taking the bait and the lures. We're gonna have a rough, a rough morning. I mean, some people like barracudas. I'm not a fan. So I think uh, this lure has had its time today. I don't want any more barracudas. Screwing up my plans. So, feel good. Kayak feels good. I've done about 6.78 kilometers now. I still feel good, although one thing I really don't like is that there are no drainage holes on the seat. So I'm sitting in a pool in a puddle of water. And I'll tell you what, when you're out for this long, or for when you're out, as long as I'm usually out fishing, 
It's not nice to have wet balls. It's not nice to have shriveled up, wrinkly wet balls. So that's one thing about this kayak that I don't like. Is that I'm sitting in a puddle of water and there's no way to get out. Um, if anybody who owns a stealth has figured out how to solve this problem, please let me know because there is literally nothing worse than wet balls. It's the worst. All right, I'm close to the spot now. I've been kayaking for 11 kilometers and about 2 hours 45 minutes, so it really should have taken me half that time to get here. But obviously with faffing around, um, trying to catch bait fish and, and those stinking barracudas taking my lines, um, we got a bit delayed, but we're here now. So what I usually like to do is I like to paddle up and down the mouth a couple of times. There's a bit of a channel there, so, so there's a change in depth. I'll paddle up and down a few times, crawl across it, see what happens. And uh, then I'll probably stop off at the center, drop a jig, see how that goes. And then maybe uh, troll in circles out to sea and back towards the mouth again and see if we can catch anything. And if that doesn't work, then I'll see if I can uh, try and get some bait fish off the rocks. Maybe uh, take out the old sabiki, which I don't like. I'm not a fan of the sabiki, but you know, it's probably the easiest way to catch bait fish. Uh, yeah, so let's see how it goes, man. Let's, uh, let's paddle through. I'm feeling strong though, 11 kilometers in, and I feel good. Um, my back's fine, my shoulders. I mean, yeah, I, I can feel like it, it's a workout. Obviously, the, the tide's coming in now, so I'm, I'm against the tide. But I feel good. Um, yeah, maybe next time, I'll just come out, head straight out here, and half the time. And get a bit more time up here as opposed to you know wasting like I said wasting time catching those bait fish or chasing those bait fish and getting smoked by barracudas. Alright I'm gonna have a jig here. Let's see if I can get anything. Drop. Let's see what we get. So a nice sherry would be good. Ooh, what we got? Spotted trevelli. Too big. Is it? What is it? Let's see. Queen. Stinking queen fish. Look, I'm grateful. It's fun. It's a blessing to be out. It's a blessing to be catching. For sure, don't get me wrong. And uh, you never know what you're going to get, right? Obviously trying to get some kingfish. I know the kings are here, but it seems like today is uh, Queenie's. And barracudas. There you go. Alright, little queen. Alright, good news guys, got a bait fish. So I think we're gonna have some fun. 
Catch some big fish. It's perfect. It's a perfect size. I don't know if you guys saw that bird. Just came out of nowhere. Scared the life out of me. I wasn't expecting it. Let's see if we can get another one. Whoa! There he is. Bird's going for my. Uh... Hey! Oh no! Oh, dude! Listen, <laughs> this guy isn't shy. Can you see him? Hey, bro! What are you doing? You can't take this. <laughs> Crazy bird. Must be the full moon. That would have been a disaster. A bird on the hook. All right, let's see if we can get us another, uh, another one of these little bad boys. And we'll hook him up and, uh, and drift across. Let's see if we can get us some uh, big, big fish. That's a crazy bird. I'll tell you what, I've had a lot of crazy birds in my life. Right, I'm gonna have a little jig. Alright, I'm gonna have a little jig in the spot and then we'll drop the bait fish. See if we can get any sherry. straight over the spot right now. Whoa. Oh. Dude, first drop. Let's try again. Let's see if he takes another drop. Oh, he's on! On the drop. Nice. There's nothing more satisfying than catching fish on light gear, I'll tell you that. Although I think the way this guy is swimming, he is a queen. Or she. Yep, that's another queen. You gotta love that sound, right? Regardless of the size of the fish, you have to love that sound. I think something's taken. Something bigger's taken us. Holy sh! Something bigger taken. Nah. He's just a fighter. That's the thing about queens, they're fantastic and so much fun to fight, but they taste like ass. So, uh, it's one of those fish. It's a decent size. There we go. And live to fight another day, my friend. 20 gram lure is just absolutely murdering today. Alright, let's give it a shot and then we'll throw on the queens again. And we'll try something else. Looks like there's some activity here. Ooh, we're on again! I just think it's just queens today, man. I don't know. Would have been a good bait fish. 
drop it down again, see what's happening. I don't know if you guys can see, there's definitely something happening under, under us, under me. Again, dude, this place is live today. Woo! All right, we've got something here. Bad, not bad. What about this line? This line is super <laughs> light, man. I don't want to give it too much. I'm actually been thinking about loosening it a bit, loosening the drag. This guy's fighting. Pop, 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 pop. I don't know what that is. So worth the pain coming out to the spot because it's pretty good. Am I gonna need the gaff? Or is this just extra drama because it's super light gear? Shadow. What is this? Uh, yes. Oh, nice. All right. Let's see. It's a big fish. Reason Woo! Look at that on the super light gear. Woo, it's a big fish. This is a problem man. I don't know no I don't know what to do on this new kayak. How to deal with these monster fish. That is a beauty. Oh, he's going straight in. Dinner for the wife. That's a big fish. That is a big fish, my friend. Look at the size of him. Oh. Alright, he's going straight in. He's a big, 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 big fish. Whoa. What a day! Woo! Alright. I've been using a fork to unhook the fish. Because I was stupid enough not to tie down my tool. But I think I did okay given the circumstances and the fact that this is my first outing on this kayak and I'm still not used to the setup, I think I'm doing alright.
What do you guys think? That was amazing, man. I was not expecting that. All right, I think, I think the responsible thing to do is I'm gonna release this little bait fish and I'm gonna head back because that's a big fish and I don't wanna, I don't wanna catch any more. Um, leave some for someone else, leave some for another day. That's a win. That's enough. So yeah, man. Other than the soggy balls, I think it's been a good day. Time to head back. Actually, before I go, I'm going to try and get this little guy out. Give it a test, give this bait will a test, see how... I might need to buy a net, you know? That's something else to get these guys out. You can't really see what's happening. That's something else. Another learning for the day. Is get a net. Because these guys are feisty. But I'm absolutely loving the bait well. I mean, this is the best thing about... Well, one of the best things about this kayak is that you've got a water in and a water out. So as you paddle, the water circulates. You don't have to worry about temperature. You don't have to worry about the oxygen running out. Coast Guard, that means I've drifted in too much. So that was a monster day. I've done about 21 kilometers, I've got another four and a half to go. I'm just taking a little break on this beach to stretch, I need to piss hard and uh, I'm gonna clean this fish and uh, then head back but yeah first impressions you know I've been waiting over 10 years to, um, to own one of these babies they don't obviously like I said before they don't ship um, they don't retail in Dubai I need to shout out to my good friend Jack Bezwedenhout who got me into kayak, kayak fishing and uh, who had one of these um, bad boys uh, back in the day. So uh, thank you, Jacques. Uh, really happy, man. What an amazing, amazing day. You know, I've done, I've done quite a lot of kilometers. Um, I feel good, obviously, you know, first day, first season, first day of the season back, it was a long off season because of COVID and lockdown. So this is a, it's been about seven or seven, eight months since I've been out and, and done such a big trip. Such a monster trip, so I'm obviously feeling it a bit. Um, some blisters, but other than that, man, uh, night and day in comparison. It's so much easier to control, um, to get up to speed, to glide, which is really important when you're doing long distances. And, um, and yeah, and uh, you know, getting up to the right cruising speed and you know, with minimal effort is, is, is fantastic. So, really happy. Uh, it's been a good day. I'm gonna take this fish out now and clean it. One more thing before I forget. For all you jokers who think that it's bad luck to take bananas on a fishing trip. Here you go, two bananas, which I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna enjoy. You know, people that think these things bring you luck or bad luck are silly. Hard work brings you luck. I've been kayaking for 21 kilometers, five hours and 20 minutes. I worked hard for this fish. That's what brings you luck, hard work. So. This is for you. Look at that. There's a fish and a half. Now the best bit is just to jump in and relax. Thanks for watching guys.
Tune in for the next one. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And take care.